Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, January 13, 2024. It's another beautiful Sabbath morning and we are happy that we are alive. I am happy to know that God has been keeping you. I am happy to know that he kept you through the week that has passed. I know some of you had a rough week and I know that you are happy that the Sabbath is here so that you can rest in the presence of God and be refreshed. Our reading this morning comes to us from John chapter 15, reading verses 1 to 8. It says, I am the true vine, my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bringeth forth, he pruneth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Verse 3 says, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. For abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine no more can he except he abide in me verse 5 i am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me ye can do nothing 6 if a man abideth not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gathered them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. 8. And last. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word. As he reminds us that the only way for us to grow is to abide in him. It says that he is the vine and his father is the husband man. And you know a husband man is somebody that dresses vine. He takes care of of the vine so the only way for us to grow is if we abide in God is if we abide in Jesus now we read that Jesus is the vine and he also tells us that we are the branches now when you think about a tree a tree has a root it has a trunk or a base it has branches and it have leaves and also if it is a fertile tree or a fruit tree it will bear fruit and so it says that we are the branches the branches hold the fruit now the branches are attached to the base of the tree or the thicker part of the tree and so if we abide to the vine then we will produce fruit amen and so if we bear fruit then he will dress us he will prune us so that we can bring forth more fruit if we do not bear fruit then he is gonna cut us off now what are the fruits that he is referring to here now galatians five i believe give us some ideas it talks about love being a fruit joy peace long suffering kindness so all of these things are the fruits that we are supposed to bear as christians and so if we abide in god then we are to be loving people we are to be kind we are to be unselfish. We should be patient with others. 
these are the fruits that God expects us to bear. And so if we do not abide in him, we cannot bear this fruit. And in extension, we won't be able to accurately represent Jesus. And so I pray this morning as we think about our lives and as we think about our experience as Christian, let us not live a fruitless life. Let us not put on our pretty dress and our pretty suit and go to church every Sabbath in vain. We go to worship our Creator and King to give Him the praise that is due to His holy name. We go to have an experience with God, to be filled with His Holy Spirit. And when we are filled with His Holy Spirit, we are to extend that blessing to those around us. So Christians should not be people walking around with long faces. They should not be grumpy. They should not be unkind. They should not be selfish people because we are attached to the vine, which is Christ. And Christ is a loving God. He is unselfish. He is patient and the list goes on and so we must learn to love others we should exhibit the characteristics of love so that the world can see that we are attached to jesus that we are identified with him through the fruits that we bear and so i pray this morning that god will continue to work on all our hearts to help us to grow in him, in his likeness. Because the truth is that the world needs some love. The world needs some kindness. The world needs us to be patient. The world needs us to exhibit the fruits of the Spirit because we live in a trying and dangerous time. And so I pray that as you continue to seek his face that he will continue to water your hearts with his love so that you can in extension water the world amen god bless you and god keep you have a happy sabbath